eight. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. A Metro Division clash ready to go tonight here, Razor. Any divisional games really start to weigh heavy on the standings. You play enough games against the same grouping of teams fighting for the same spots. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Islanders start with possession as we are now underway. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck along the boards. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Lee's got it across the line. And he regains control of the puck. Comes up with a stop. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. Corpusalo's had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. New York's looking to break out. We got a delay coming up. That trip right in front of the officials' eyes. Can't get away with that. And the puck stopped man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And makes the save. Here comes the sentence. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck. Here. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Blue Jackets take it across the blue line. Sends it over. Looks to set up at the point now. Here's a shot. Tipped. Trying to get the puck away from the... New York's got it in their own zone. And now he ain't across to Clutterbuck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pellet. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Couldn't connect on that pass. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Handles the puck. Taken by Atkinson. Strong defensive effort. The Islanders have it behind the net. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. The Blue Jackets move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. New York's down, but not out. They've had chances, they just haven't capitalized. Frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Hayes still hangs on to the puck, and they'll get it out of the defensive end. Moves it to Bailey. Takes a shot, gobbles the puck up there with a the chest, and we're gonna get a whistle here. Getting into the later stages of this period, Columbus has the one nothing lead. Bailey's won a big draw in their own end. They move the puck out of harm's way. The Blue Jackets gain possession along the wall. Quick pass to Bailey. Makes a move in front. Here's a chance on the doorstep. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Oh, he gets it off the skate and scores! You, you can have it bounce off the skate, James. Look at that, they've waved this. This looks like a kicking motion is ruled by the referee. to tell if this puck is directed or kicked in. They ruled immediately, no goal. Puck in with a kicking motion. You like the call? I hate it. has won the draw and they take possession in the neutral zone. Musa quickly over to Bailey. Close save and he handles it with ease. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. The setters will glide into the dot. Time of the goal. 16 minutes, 59. The Blue Jackets take possession off the faceoff. That's three consecutive goals. Now the goalie keeps looking over to the coach and why am I still in here? The defensive centerman can't lose the like this when he does. That creates the scoring chance. It's right in the net. Here in the late going to the frame, Columbus has taken a three-goal lead. 
The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. And now it's grabbed by Bailey. And rings the iron! The Blue Jackets have peppered this goaltender with shots tonight. A big lead. I bet you the goalie's pretty happy he heard that noise of the post behind him there. From the wing, it's moved to center. On the attack, grabbed along the boards by Hamannick. Receives the pass. And that one's broken up. Great block there. No one home on that play. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. There's the horn. You could have replaced it with a white flag based on the score of this one after the first 20. If you are the holder of the winning ticket, please take it to our customer service kiosk in section 144 on the concourse before the end of tonight's game. As both teams get a breather here in this first intermission, we'll do the same and get ready for period number two. All right, I think my partner in Crow. Nice calling him out. Did he ever? This is this is gonna get heated. A one-sided crowd on their feet as they drop the gloves. was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this boat. And here comes referee Gilles to clean things up. Uh, you can't touch momentum, but you can feel it. And the home team's gonna build a little bit, they believe, after a fight win. Listen to this place. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. Columbus has played a pretty incredible first half of the game. James, when I look at them play, I don't know how it could be any better than this. Here's a short pass to Del Cole. Throw. Columbus takes position. Moves the puck. Here's an odd man rush. Solid body contact. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Oh, great use of the body on the play. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. New York's gonna switch things up between the pipes. He can't get over to the bench quick enough. Now he can get rid of that mask, throw in a ball hat, wrap a towel around his neck, and try and relax. This has been a rotten night for him. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. This has been a lopsided affair. 4 nothing is where we're... Picked up by Jones. Quick feed to Bailey. They fight for it along the boards. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice pass. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Columbus with possession in their own zone. And they'll dump it in. Taken along the wall by Boychuk. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Right in the slot. Moves it to... Long jam in front. That's broken up. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. He scores! Deuce is wild for him now. Well, that makes your night. I'll tell you, it's great to score one. You get a second one. It's such a run. Thinking had he yet? Oh, he should be. I mean, he's got two in the bag already. I'll tell you one guy that would be thinking had he. Me. The Blue Jackets have come to play, and they show no signs of slowing down here in the second. No, and there's still enough time left that you can't take your foot off the gas. Keep pushing forward. By number 18, Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick pass to Nightfist. Wrist shot from the slot. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Time of the goal. 13 minutes, 13 Columbus has generated tons of offense and as a result, they lead big late in the second period. The Islanders take possession off the faceoff. Pulak's got it along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Sezikis. And he slides it quickly to Beauvillier. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. There's the ball. 
getting a little cheeky there. Well, here comes the response. You can't do that. You cannot shoot the puck after the whistle and expect that nobody's going to get grumpy. Oh, and down to the ice he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. There's not been much that's gone right for them tonight. They're getting blown out here. Maybe this fight can spark a little energy. Let's just try to get something going here. That's about it. Time of the penalty. 16 minutes. Well, the ice has sure looked tilted after 40 minutes of play as the second period comes to an end. Fans, take a look at our scoreboard as we... Third period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Raise the players are ready. Let's go. They continue to preserve the lead. Ray Ferraro, it looks like the coach is sending a message out there. Yeah, the message is safety first. They want that puck forward. They don't want any creative plays, really, that there's a chance you can turn it over. And he's reminding the youngest player, which is always a good thing to do. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Columbus boasting a 5-0 lead to this point. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. Snapper from the slot. Hey. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Pokes the puck away. The Blue Jackets take over on possession. He scores! What a goal! That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. The rookie's had a really good game, and he gets a little tap from the coach as he comes back to the bench. That doesn't happen very often. Pretty satisfying when you know the boss is happy with you. We've called his name multiple times. He's been all over the ice tonight. The Blue Jackets have put in a complete team effort tonight, but they really look good offensively. Their arms are going to be tired from all the times they've been in the air here. This has been a good <laughs> offensive performance. No kidding. Denies Big stop by the keeper. Denies him again. It's like a wall. Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Bailey's in good shape here, but he ends up losing the puck and overhandled. Now he takes it over the line. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Knocked away. Picked up along the wall by Atkinson. Too many bodies in the way. Lays into the body on the play. Moves it quickly over to Bailey. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. And he loses both the bounce after that hit. Columbus has it in the defensive end. The Blue Jackets head. Here's a chance. Sends the pass over. The lane was plucked. Scores! Fire those cannons, Blue Jackets fans! He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Columbus has to be feeling good about their effort tonight, Razor. How could they not, James? I mean, it's been perfect for them. They've got a big lead, and they're just trying to milk the clock to get home. Montreal's on deck on the schedule. How many guys actually know who's looming? Uh, more than half, I, but you'd be surprised how many people don't know. In the room? Oh, yeah. They just play the game in front of them. He's got the puck on his again in the offensive zone where he seems to have been all night. He's looking for his third. He wants a Hattie now. The Blue Jackets have it from their own end. Nice zone entry from the middle. Right in front of the net. Oh, what a stop. The Islanders will play it from the defensive zone. 
Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Here's a short pass to Pollock. Lowers the boom with that hit. Gets it over to Clutterbuck. And the puck sails out of play and will get a face-off while one lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. The Blue Jackets have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. The Islanders get a hold of the puck off the draw. Now he moves it to Bailey. Takes the pass. Blocked in traffic. Bailey's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feed. Turns it aside. Save made by the goalie. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up. Maybe that sparks the other a little bit. From the slot. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. That's all she wrote from this one, and he'll take a moment to appreciate. Boy, confidence between the pipes tonight with that shutout, would you say? It looked easy. Yeah. Even the most difficult shots for him, he handled with such confidence. Razor, they're getting the second ovation from the crowd. Did you guys have this when you were... No, we had none of this. Nobody saluted the fans like this to be no real connection to who was watching and who was playing. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabolski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.